adventure out here. And as you know, I live online. What you may not know, however, is that I have a background in recruiting. And uh, from time to time, I talk to job seekers who have interesting questions. Now, this question uh, came to me by a friend of mine named Jake, and um, I thought it was so interesting uh, what he asked me that I wanted to share with you, because some of you may have the same kind of situation um, affecting you and your job search. So, uh, let me let me let this let me just let Jake explain to you um, what I'm talking about. So, uh, Jake, tell me about uh, your particular issue with this upcoming uh, job interview you got. Well, Jim Stroud, I have a problem here. My problem is that I'm going to this interview, and there's some content out online that I just don't want people to see. Ah. Uh, what, what kind of content? What? Well, I'm a little freaked out, so check it out. concern, <laughs> as how you wouldn't want that out there on the net for people to see. What can I do? Well, fortunately there are some several tips you can do, and, and, and I want to share with you guys, these are tips, tips you can do to un-Google yourself, so this won't happen to you. Un-Google myself? Tell me a little more about that. Well, I'll show you like this. Here are five ways to un-Google yourself before an employer can Google your name. Now, uh, if you have some embarrassing pictures or information about yourself online and you do not want it freely available for all to see, well, sorry for your luck. Uh, in most cases, once content is online, it's always online somewhere, if you know where to look. However, there are some things you can do to minimize the potential damage those compromising pictures or information can bring. First, create a second online identity or slightly change the one you have. Superman has Clark Kent and Batman Bruce Wayne. Uh, when you sign up for online accounts or post to your blog or MySpace page, for example, don't use your real name. Uh, use an online screen name like, um, uh, I don't know, Pretty Brown Eyes. Uh, why? Well, if an employer is looking for background information on you, uh, they will be looking for your real name and not searching for, quote, Pretty Brown Eyes. Second, check to see if it's even necessary to ungoogle yourself. Uh, do a search on your name and see what comes up. If your name is John Smith, uh, chances are your information is buried under a ton of other John Smiths out there, and uh, chances are your information won't be discovered by an employer anyway. Uh, to be on the safe side, uh, when you're searching, searching on your name, uh, use quotation marks around your name, and you may also want to try adding your middle name or middle initial uh, just to see what brings uh, what comes back as well. Third, edit your online accounts. Um, if you have a blog that you'd rather uh, future employers uh, did not see, uh, change the name on, on that account. Or if it's something you're really not active on anyway, uh, consider deleting it altogether. And, and while we're on the subject, um, don't use the same email addresses uh, that you do professionally. Uh, a recruiter may search for your email address right after searching for your name. And <laughs> believe me, I know. Four, uh, ask nicely for help. If you uh, find something online and it's out of your personal control, uh, email whomever runs that site and say, dude, I'm trying to get a job. Will you take my name off of your site? Uh, and if they won't, uh, maybe ask them to change the name to something else so it won't come up in a Google search or at the least uh, obscure your image so you can have at least some form of deniability. Now, don't make any empty threats of legal action or anything like that at least not initially. Uh, just explain yourself what you're doing and, and be nice. Uh, you'll be surprised at just how far that can go. And finally, there is a Google removal tool. Yes, there is a Google online removal tool that you can use to request that certain items do not come up in your search results. Uh, this does not happen very quickly, but it is a tool you can use nonetheless. Uh, as you see on the screen, that is the URL to where you can go to request Google to take that information off. So. Hopefully, uh, that can be of help to you. Thanks for those tips, Jim Stroud. Now I know what to do. I feel confident about what I can do online, and I want to thank you for living online. 
no problem. Now, you know, as I think about it, there might be something online that I don't want people to see either. Um, I'm going to need to ungoogle myself too. Till next time, this is Jim Stroud, and as always, I live online. You know what LP